Hello, Dwayne Lessner with another NC2 on Azure video. Today we're looking at the resources consumed by the Azure portal. We're looking at the NC2 portal where we have a cluster already deployed up and running. We have the bare metal hosts, the IPs for the hypervisor and our storage controller. On the network side, we have our VNet, which is deploying for the bare metal, our CVM that's delegated VNet for the bare metal, and then likewise on the Prism Central side, we have the Prism Central VNet along with the subnet that's been delegated. And we can actually see the already consuming IPs. And then we also have the flow gateway where we can take a look at the internal and external network. The external network is where we're going to grab the floating IPs for workloads that need uh, an external IP for access, maybe like a web server that uh, people are going to need uh, IP coming inbound versus outbound. Now, if we take a look at the Azure portal, we see that we have our three VNets. Uh, we have our TME, HV. Uh, we have a long list of connected devices. So we see that we are consuming um, IPs that have been configured for the Flow Gateway VM. Uh, the default is 50 IPs that are configured out of the box. And then we have our bare metal nodes showing up here, the network interfaces. We can take a look at our subnets. We have the subnet for our CVM. Uh, and then we have the two flow gateway uh, VNets as well. Now this bare metal Azure hosted service as mentioned needs to be there along with you do need to have a NAT. The NAT is required to get outbound access to the NC2 portal. Um, so we can do our not only deploying but also health information, uh, making sure that all of the nodes are healthy. And then on the Prism Central side, note that these peerings have been done. So we have the peering between PC and the CVM, but then the additional one between the your hub or VPN uh, VNet and your PC, and also the HV need to be done manually by yourself. And so here, same thing on the subnets. If we take a look where Prism Central is deployed, it has a NAT as well, and also the delegation happening to that service. Now, if we go and look at the, the Flow Gateway VM, so here is our Flow Gateway VM that has been deployed. Now, if we take a look at the, the virtual machine itself and go to networking, we see the two, the external and the internal NIC. And so this external NIC is really the, what we want to take a look at here. Uh, you can see that there's a network security group that you can configure. Uh, you can also use the uh, virtual flow networking policies as well to limit traffic inside of your cluster. And then if we click on the network interface, we can go to IP configurations. And here we have all of the IPs that are being configured and used by the external NICs. Um, if you want to take a look at the actual hardware, we can go into the resource group, me. Now, if you, once you're in your resource group, you can go show hidden types. And then for types, we can look for nodes. So here's our three nodes. So if you need uh, to find the actual node information, uh, maybe you're troubleshooting or someone's asking around billing, uh, you can show them that information as well. Uh, those are the resources being consumed by your cluster in Azure, and we look forward to seeing you in the next video.